first time here, Main Street Comics, Milltown, New Jersey. Sorry, I'm a little like, I'm a little flabbergasted here because this is one of the best comic book stores. This is like a hidden gem. Hidden gem, man. Back issues. Featuring great Silver Age books. Like really, yeah, like actual Silver Age books. And the one big thing too was the run box. Was oh really my cool. God, that's Don't forget right. the run box. I've never seen such a selection of like just back issue boxes full of full runs. And they got me for a bunch, man. Yeah. They got me, I bought you over had a Secret War, Civil War. Yeah, the full collection of Civil War. Full yeah. collection of Civil War two. Yeah. Secret Wars two. Um, Annihilation, all the War of the Realm stuff was in there. Yeah. I've never seen such a good selection of full, full run bins. Their back issue section was one of the most solid I've seen for such a small store. I would have to give it a nine. Then, They've got like a whole box of books that you would normally see on someone's wall. They've got a, you know, like two boxes of wall books not on the wall. It's insane. Uh, I was looking at a first appearance of the Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man number 14. I just have it. Had it out, looked it over. Very reasonable prices too. A lot of good stuff like first that here. First appearance of Punisher. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. Just have that yeah. on the wall. I mean, they have more wall books in their bins than most comic stores like have. Yeah. On their actual walls, which was was definitely something that we're not used to. So we have to give the wall books. We'll give a nine too. High score for those for sure. As far as the new comics go, um, the new comic, you know, not as big, but at least they looked nice. They had the bins so that they're not getting killed on the racks. So we'd have to give what would we an eight for the seven or eight. Seven or eight for the for probably the, get like yeah. seven for the new books. Uh, toys and stuff like that. The toys and miscellaneous stuff. They didn't really have as much of the selection of the toys, but if you're here for the comics, you're not really here for the toys. It was mostly the Funko Pop. They had a small collection of cards, little Pokemon. Pokemon cards. Little, a yeah. uh, couple boxes of unopened Marvel cards. Really nice. That's cool, yeah, that was cool. I think I'd give their toys maybe like a, a six. My personal favorite is the dollar bins. They had, that was the craziest Alan dollar bins. I was uh, very excited about this place's dollar bins. I've never seen dollar bins where they actually bag and board them. And then the stuff in the dollar bins is stuff that you would see in a regular comic yeah. book shops, regular bins, but only for a dollar. So you walked well, out of here with quite a stack of dollar bin books. <laughs> well, Probably at least a 60, <laughs> 60 stack of uh, dollar bins. They had all the Brubaker Captain Americans. Yeah, I can't get over how excited I am. I am definitely, we, we go to a lot of shops, and a lot of shops I'm like, oh, I'll go back there maybe in another year or so. I would come here again, I am gonna come here again.